Do I like Final Fantasy? Oh yes, I like Final Fantasy. I... Oh god. So, story time. Not not much of a story time, but seeing as we're here, might as well tell a story. So, uh... Yeah, the Chaos Scrolls. Cool. Um, when I was in... So, when I was a kid, I moved around a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, like, every four years, it was a new house, new state, stuff like that. I almost never lived in any one place for too long of a time. And so, I lived in North Carolina for a short period of time. And North, North Carolina, actually, that was the shortest place I've ever lived anywhere. But North Carolina is kind of a, it's an okay state, but I really didn't have a whole lot of friends. Yeah, it gave me four chaos goals. I'm just holding on to them until the next floor, because I'd rather see, see their effects properly along the way. Uh, let's see. But so, um, so when I was, let's actually put points into our stats. Have we maxed almost everything out? Yeah, let's go for acrobatics just so I can have wall climb. Um, huh, there's a Mass Effect D&D. That'd be interesting. But, uh, so when I was in North Carolina, I would actually play, sort of play. I, I was really into Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, uh, the game, the first Game Boy Advance version. Uh, I did, I didn't end up, wow, even the barrels don't do a whole lot of damage to me anymore. That is comical. Um, but so, I was, I was really into Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Like, that, that was my jam, and I have, like, several hundred hours into that game. I'll probably do a Let's Play of it at some point along the way, but I'm not sure when. I should probably go back and do the original Final Fantasy Tactics just to get to know my roots, sort of? I don't even know. Um, wow, this is actually problematic. Um, but so while I would do so, I had a, I had a really good friend that was really into Final Fantasy X at the time. Uh, so the two of us would play Final Fantasy together. He'd be playing X, I'd be playing Tactics, and like, I had never really done sleepovers before, and to a degree I still don't really do much for sleepovers, if you really want to consider them sleepovers just because you're a goddamn adult. After a certain point you just drive home, because it's a lot easier to do so, especially after everybody's like gotten really sick of being awake. Um, but so, I think we actually beat the entirety of Final Fantasy X over the course of, like, a year. And then we started on X-2, and he thought it was bullshit, and I thought it was awesome. Boobies are awesome. Um, but, like, so, I've always, I've always wanted to go back and, like, fully play through a Final Fantasy game, especially, especially on YouTube. The problem is, like, they are very lengthy time commitments to the point where, like, I don't want to do them by myself. Uh, so, you know, it was requested, hello, it was requested that I play through fi a Final Fantasy game tonight, and the answer is, like, I'm, I'm gonna wait until I have a proper co-commentator. I know, like, I get a lot of volunteers for that, but, again, hard to do, and mostly just a lot of brown scrolls. Alright, fine. Let's pop that up, see where we go. Science! Eh, it's kind of okay. Oh, see a demon dead? Or, not demon dead, homunculus, there we go. Uh, hope your internet gets better. And the answer is half plate that we probably don't need. It is hard to... Hey, shopkeeper, what do you got? Featherfall, bombs, nothing useful. Okay. Um. But... Nope, not spike protection. It's like the only thing I care about at this point. Uh, but so, like, I would actually... some Someday, someday soonish, probably... Probably, like, the moment I'm, like, off on my own and have, like, a true apartment again, I'm probably going to go through and, like, actually start playing through a Final Fantasy game proper, like, uh, because those games are really good. I know, like, a lot of people didn't like Final Fantasy XIII, but I've always been curious. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, don't do it. And I'm be like, I'm going to do it anyway, because I am a shallow person and that game looks very pretty. I'm so glad that the spike traps are not triggered by enemies. Makes my life so much easier. I've not seen a shrine of scumming this time around, but stuff. Have I played this war of mine? Nope, haven't. Would love to. Uh, but they didn't send me a review copy, and it didn't really seem, like, that close to my general content, so it was kind of one of those where it's like, eh, I'll wait on it. And then I just kind of waited forever. I'll probably pick it up when it's on sale or something like that. That's the very likely thing. Ah, we found the shrine of scumming. So at the very, very end. Well, I'll scum a little bit here. Let's clear everything else out first. I think I saw one Zamble running around. 
Yep, there we go. He was gonna be around here. God, they have like a hundred health. If not more. That's scary business. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. I did find that treasure chest, right? I must have. Okay. So our stats are ridiculous. If I can get to 100 dexterity, I will be satisfied. What time is it? Oh, wow. It's already, it's already 1246. I've been doing this for a while. Anyway, uh, let's see. More acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't even have the evasion bonus yet. Oh, boy. Somebody might not even be able to do damage to me. Or we might actually get to the point where nobody can even hurt me. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Got to heal up, though. I got a lot of magic stamina. That's a good feeling. I'm glad that they made it that you actually uh, regen mana faster. Like, instantaneously, honestly. Uh, Cause that makes it a lot e easier to heal between levels, but that's about it. Can I play Hero Generations after this? Yep, actually. Uh, so what I'm probably gonna do tonight, uh, just overall schedule, is this, Catacomb Kids, Hero Generations, Nuclear Throne, and then Bloodborne for the rest of the night. That's that's probably going to be the, the general gist of what I do. Cause I would like to play a lot of Bloodborne. I, I've been I've been meaning to play more of that, and I haven't really gotten the chance to do so. Oh, uh, well, there's this shrine is coming and magic missile. Okay. They still do a lot of damage. My shadow is very violent, though. <laughs> we gotta make sure it stops doing that. We get broadsword, which is garbage. Chain lightning, which is less than garbage. Here's the question if you sac oh hey pork chop. If you sacrifice a, a scroll of I don't even know. That's an interesting question. This is dangerous. Not that dangerous. Especially with pork chops. Pork chop sandwiches. I'm probably just gonna be swimming in stats by the time we're out of here. See, here's the one problem we're going to run into. These these uh, zombies are probably going to stop stop me from like doing anything proper. Uh, eventually, I'm just not going to be able to uh, hop down and stuff like that. Huh. Defense is a percentage. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I would love to see the developer's overall math for, like, how different things work in this game. Because it's definitely interesting. I don't know. I guess this is why I want to get uh, evasion along the way. Because evasion would probably just make everything comically easy. Right, we don't really care about those things, do we? Well, let's do magic mapping while we're here. Scroll of Chaos. Ooh, hello. Note to self, that was... Oh, I'm glad I got that. What the dicks is even going on here? I'm glad I got uh, wall climbing at this point. Uh, let's, uh, let's save jump. Let's use that one. I guess I'm berserk, and that just digs horizontally. You know what? That's that's the one thing I don't have this run. I don't have berserkitis. Uh, right, because I, I didn't want it because I'm... Um... Let's go find us a boss if I can. There we go. There's the abomination. Oh, never mind. We are no longer berserk. I was like, I wanted to berserk murder him. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Right of curse runs and stuff like that. Let's see. Am I gonna put up Don't Starve? So, th so the reason why I haven't put up Don't Starve, seeing as be uh, seeing as that is actually a common question. So the reason why I have not put up Don't Starve yet is largely because ooh, that actually hurt a lot. Uh, is because we haven't had the chance to film it in a while. So we have a number of like pre-recorded episodes at this point. Problem being. I don't like putting up series that I know, like, aren't going to finish. So for Don't Starve, uh, ow. For Don't Starve, we haven't had the chance to film that in, like, a month. And we've we've got a half-done series. And so if it was one of those where it actually went on, like, pseudo-indefinite pseudo hiatus, damn it. I should really just save my magic stamina. 
for the time being and just murder these guys because at this point I'm wasting it. Um, but I'd, I'd hate to put anything on indefinite hiatus for, you know, all, another month. Which is usually the reason why... Uh, well, that, that's the reason why I haven't, like, put anything up because it's like, I, I would love to, but... As long as I am unable to like film it properly, I don't want to. I don't want to put up like the first three episodes where we set up a base, and then it's like, all right, that's the end of the footage that I've I've got for the time being. Let's come back in like two months when uh, everybody else has decided to actually have time and commitment to play it. And like, I know I'm guilty of this this too, where like I try and organize other stuff, but like it is especially bad with that one. Okay, let's just go up to full health at the end of this. Let's come later on the next floor or something. Okay, back up to full health. All the way back up. And acrobatics 3. Yeah, because if I can get ac acrobatics 4, we're going to have a built-in 33% evasion on top of whatever luck and dexterity bonuses we have. Actually, come to think of it, luck... Okay, is crit crit rate innovation stuff like that? Let's see. Huh. Okay, I'll show my stats off in one second. Let me just get my health back up. There we go. When this game comes online, can I play with a developer? Huh. I guess I could. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't even know. I, I guess I should probably just bother them about it, because I wouldn't be surprised. I, I've already talked to the artist and one of the programmers, so I would not actually be surprised if um, I couldn't actually get them to say yes somewhere along the way. Because that'd be kind of nice. Okay. Well, let's just keep scooting and beating. Mostly beating. Wow, the, the just general spawn rate in this place gets insane once you're up to... I don't even know what level of the crypts we're on. It's getting pretty high, though. I'm very worried that after a certain point, like, right there, we're not actually going to be able to get down, which is a scary prospect. Then again, eh, could be worse, right? Could be worse. Let's see. Let's see, anything? Ah, shopkeeper. Zygox. Don't really care for Zygox at this point, but I'm... What I'm gonna try and do is clear my inventory first and foremost. Do I have anything identified? Not really. So you know what? Let's get rid of one of the amulets of death protection. All right, let's drink all of our drugs. At least most of our drugs. Because there's there's no reason to be holding on to all of it. They barely even give us uh, a bonus. Eh, I think speed still does, just because your speed step... doesn't increase with a uh, Shrine of Scumming, does it? Where's my speed right now? Oh, interesting. It's not actually a listed stat, is it? Wow, really? Yeah, it's not. Huh. Did not actually know that. Well, that's interesting. Let's see. Have I thought about having a day each month where I stream with friends so I can get videos recorded like Don't Starve and play for hours? So the problem is, like, I have not played with my friends in a month or the requisite uh, friends for Don't Starve. Uh, so, the main the main limiting factor is, like, m the two guys that I do Don't Starve together f with, for example, are both students. And so one guy, last month, was finishing up his master's, so he was super busy. And then the other guy is dirt poor and a student, so he's not only doing finals and stuff. I'm just getting, like, grabbed repeatedly over and over and over again. It's ridiculous. Um, but so, you know, playing with students is especially hard. Like, you think... You can get two students to have the same schedule, except for one of them works in a movie theater. So suddenly, you know, weekends go off. So actually, it was originally scheduled to, uh, to, uh, have Crafty Gnomes come over to my house, uh, tomorrow. Which was going to be, like, super exciting, because we were just going to, like, turn through, I don't know, something. Maybe Valda's story. Uh, because that would be kind of fun. And the problem is, like, no can do. No, uh, no way to do it. Which is actually kind of a shame, because I was actually really looking forward to that. Uh, 
just in terms of like generating content and stuff. So what I've been doing instead is trying to get the other the other problem is like uh when you're playing like YouTube stuff, well not playing YouTube stuff, when you're recording for YouTube, uh for example for me, I can do do those spikes come up? They might have. Um like I I can record for hours and hours and hours without end with like no general like motivation loss or like if I do lose motivation I just switch to a slower type of game. The problem is not everybody can be like on for hours and hours and hours at, at a time. Oh. What did that do? I, I think I busted up the curse shrine. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Wow, that freezing is really nice. Just jump a bunch. Hello! How's it going? Stuff like that. Let's see. Can I kill all the shopkeepers? I mean, I could, but there's no real reason to do so at this point. They're just, they're just there. Oh, hey. Another bow. I've not actually seen bows in a while. Weightless arrows. That might actually be worth it. Speed, strength, constitution. Yep, that is way better. Oh, that's cursed. I didn't even realize I had a cursed bow on. Cool, I don't even care. Let's see. When this game comes on online... Let's see. So... Uh, okay, so when, the, when this game actually has online multiplayer, I'm actually gonna bother the devs. See, see if they'd be willing to play with me and if I can do like a pseudo interview play with them and actually just see how good of players they are because I'm really curious to see how good they are at Vagante. I'm assuming they're they're pretty expert at this. Uh, it's just the the sheer question of like how well do I stack up against you know the developers and like maybe the artist is lower but I'm, I'm going to assume that they're all quite uh, quite adept at playing this game. Uh, let's see. But, uh, no, I, I would love to do that. I have no idea how that would turn out, but I think it would be really cool. Uh, let's see, more acrobatics. Maxing that out, stuff like that. Let's see. There's all of, all of the questions tonight, but that's okay. Because, <laughs> honestly, there's nothing to talk about as far as the game goes, uh, comparatively. I like the zombies that keep killing themselves on the, on the spikes. Okay. Let's see. Um, but so, the, oh, right, falling damage is still a thing. I totally forgot about that. So the que the other question is, would I play this with fans? And the answer is no. I, so, I actually got somebody saying, like, kind of nasty things to me earlier today about me doing, uh, like, not doing games with fans. And honestly, I, apo I apologize if I ever offend anybody for not wanting to play with fans. Uh, but the answer is generally going to be no. Why? And, like, this is going to sound super harsh, but, like, I barely have any time, as it is. And you think, well, you know, you could just throw yourself in a game with, like, just random fans, like this. Play play this with fans right now. Except for the problem is, like, honestly, if I can't directly communicate with somebody, I don't generally like playing games with them. I don't like doing, like, random lobby multiplayer stuff at all. So, like, Call of Duty, CSGO, stuff like that. If I can't, like, banter with people, it's generally not worth it for me and I get really bored. Uh, so that's, that's why, like, I don't actually play games casually. I only play them for YouTube at this point, which seems really stupid, uh, comparatively, but that, that's just the way it works, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, the arrow actually managed to hit the, the ghost. Uh, oh, let's not get that. I want to get the potion. There we go. I like it really matters. Oh, shoot. I've been carrying around a bunch of those drugs. Whoopsie. Oh. Um, but so, you know, I, I need banter to be enter entertained. It's, it's why, like, I generally don't like watching... Well, I don't actually like watching uh, YouTube videos unless the banter is particularly good. If it's, like... Uh, I actually have that problem with Game Grumps, for example. I can't get into it unless they're actually having, like, a really good on day. Because if they're too tired, it's just boring for me. Uh, so, I generally can't play with silent people. And if the people's humor doesn't, like, match up properly. And, like, you think... 
I don't know. It really just boils down to a combination of a couple of things. One, I don't have I don't have time to play with people that say don't have proper microphones and stuff like that. But just beyond that, like I have at this point I just gotten so picky from playing with YouTubers that it's very hard for me to uh, enjoy playing with like anything else. I know that sounds like super tacky and stuff like that. I, I would I would love to please everybody, but the other problem is like this is what hour four as far as this game is concerned. Uh, this this run is concerned, and like there's no way that I'd be able to commit four plus hours to play with you know, people, and not record it. And, like, yeah, I could hit record button, but it wouldn't, it, chances are it would not be content worth using. Um, and, like, it, it seems so easy to do this, but it truly is not. And it's a giant, it's a nightmare. And, like, it would be cool if I had infinite time and, you know, could, could entertain anybody and stuff like that. Um, and stuff like that. And, like, honestly, yes, I could set up site, Skype and try and have banter, but, like, the, it, do, it doesn't work. The last time, and the only time I've ever played with a fan, it went terribly, and I hated it. It was atrocious, and some of you might actually know uh, of that day, and I'm not going to reference it too much, um, but it, it was just, it was the worst. I was, I was just so angry and tired and like I wanted to be polite I wanted to I wanted to be like you know hey man you know I, I'm just gonna go with this this isn't working right now but it's kind of one of those where it's like you really don't want to disappoint a person and you don't want to turn turn a person away uh, but at this point the answer is just always going to be no as sad as that sounds because um, there's just there's no way to do it and so I, I say this all the time whenever people ask if uh, they can play with me the answer is Become a YouTuber, uh, effectively make a portfolio, show that you can actually do YouTube, and then fine. You know, we could do a thing. But until then, it's gonna be like, eh. It's not, it's not gonna work nearly as well as you think it would. Okay, let's get rid of that death protection amulet. It's not really useful for me. I'm really curious what it, oh hey, actually come to think of it. What's our current amulet have on it? Not that much. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna pop that twice. For better or worse, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Get around. And like, I, I, I truly like hate giving answers like this. I hate saying no to people. I am a people pleaser. But uh, like, seriously, if any of you guys can actually get to the point where like you are, you prove yourself as like a good YouTuber, then the answer is yeah, why not? I don't really care. Like, it's it's not that size matters. It's it's quality that counts as far as I'm concerned. It's just quality is hard. I've ever, have I ever thought about trying to play with Sleep Cycles or... Oh, that's pretty garbage. Uh, Sleep Cycles or Northern Lion. Honestly, uh, if I could play with either of them, I would be super happy. Um, okay. I have another... I have more questions being asked. Okay. Uh... Let's go with daggers. I want to see if... Throne stuff like that. Let's see. I'm not sure if I would play Nuclear Throne with Sleep Cycles. Just because un until I get, like, truly pro mode as far as Nuclear Throne goes, and that's actually part of the reason why I'm playing it so much, because I, wa I want to be competitive against somebody like Sleep Cycles as far as Nuclear Throne goes. But um, I, I have thought about, like, if I could co-op with those guys or play against those guys versus them or whatever. Honestly, I would love I would love it if I could get, like, uh, Sleep Cycles or something. In a game of like online Vigante, and that is actually uh, that is actually going to be one of the things that I'm going to start trying to do. I want to contact uh, several of the like largerish YouTubers that are in the same circle as me. Uh, probably not Bisnab, probably not Mathis, not Northern Lion, because honestly, like they're too large. So my whole rant, you know, just three to five minutes ago about like not doing, um, you know, not doing collaborative stuff with people. Uh, that, like, I, I have no idea their content, uh, that goes doubly for, like, larger YouTubers. So if I asked, if I asked Northern Lion, uh, if he wanted to do a Binding of Isaac race with me, his answer would be an even ruder version of what I just said just a little bit ago. Well, that's just kind of funny. Um, chucking daggers. That is hilarious. Um, but, 
you know, for him, since he actually is, you know, making money from this, if I'm not, if, I, you know, if, I, I mean, this is going to sound like, oh, is that blocking shots? It is. I actually did not know they'd block shots like that. Cool. Did not know that. Uh, but, so, chances are, with, like, Northern Lion, he would just flat out say no. Maybe someday, maybe when I'm, like, super big and stuff like that, I could totally, uh, I could totally do it. But uh, as it stands, chances are, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to get Northern Lion in on something until he, like, he specifically approaches me. And, I mean, that, that just seems to be kind of the way he works anyway. Uh, that he has his posse of people. The fact that he has such, like, a, a large group of people around him um, makes it a lot easier for him to kind of be selective. And so he doesn't have to worry about, like, you know, pe uh, gathering people like me. And potion of defense. Might as well drink one of these. Stuff like this. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Indie gamer news. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see. Bloodborne with sleep cycles. Honestly, I'm trying to do Bloodborne with Keith, and it's a nightmare. That game is not easy to collaborate on, to say the least. At least not in the beginning. This is maybe a little bit on the risky side of things, but we're doing it anyway! Just, I know a ghost would murder the crap out of me right now. Stat points must be pretty ridiculous, as it stands. Okay, so there's another question, uh, a little bit before. Stuff like that. I need a YouTube manager. That would be interesting. MCNs are usually pretty good at that. Okay, so I'm going to roll back. There's a question from DemonDead96 a little bit ago about my problem with YouTube is I feel like I have a really boring personality. Any advice you can give, uh, I can give them. Uh, so, honestly, if you think you have a really boring personality, it kind of depends on, like, delivery. So, honestly, it... Okay, so there, there's no advice I can give that will make you an interesting person. If you are the most boring person in the universe, there's not much I can do to help you. However, that... D oh, God. There's not... A, like, even if you're kind of like a, a dry, boring person, that's not the end of the world. There are a lot of, like, really good YouTubers that have incredibly dry personalities. You know, the, the kind of, like... I, I'm not going to say, the, like, the backup personality, but the... the uh, what, am I, what am I trying to call it? The, the sardo um, sardonic personalities, the, 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 the straight man. There we go. That's it. So, honestly, like, every group of funny people needs a straight man. If you don't, actually, going with level 2 daggers is starting to screw me over a bit. Interesting. Didn't realize that, but, uh, holding the sticks is actually hurting me here. Uh, because it reduces my attack speed. Interesting. Um, but so, like, even if you think you're a boring person, chances are... You're not actually nearly as... A, you're not nearly as boring as you think you are. And some amount of it is just being outgoing. If, if you can get past the certain point of, like, self-confidence, it actually gets a lot... Oh, that's the wrong spell. Really, I didn't have Fireball yet. Weird. Oh! Hello. But, like, once you can get past the initial part of, like, I am not an interesting person... Like, once you, once you can get over the fact that you, um... Uh, straight man of the group... Uh, what, once you can get over the basic, like, I'm not an interesting person, it's actually a lot easier to be funny. Uh, and, like, humor is a trained thing. You don't think it, but it really is. Like, w when I was first starting out, like, I believe I still have the YouTube series up. But go back and check out my, like, my shank footage. That shit was awful. Like, I w just was not funny, I was not interesting, I wasn't any anything of the sort. Um, and I, I just... I just powered through it. My, my humor is a... I mean, I, I've always tried to be kind of like the funny guy. And I, I do kind of push for that kind of behavior. Uh, you know, trying to be kind of the prankster. Kind of make light of situations and stuff like that. But, like, I can be really not funny sometimes. I can be really boring. A lot of people in uh, middle school, actually. Uh, going back to my roots. Uh, I didn't really talk to a whole lot of people in high school. So it's kind of hard to have, like, a quote-unquote humor resume for high school. But, um, in middle school, people made fun of me for being the guy that would ruin jokes. And you know what? Fuck that. I just drank a potion of poison. Why did I just drink a potion of poison? I don't even know. Uh, 
Let's see. If I had someone like Eddie Murphy co-host, God, how would I even do- how would that even work? I- what? I don't know. That would be really weird. Anyway, um... But, you can- you can totally have somebody that is kind of the straight man in the group. Uh, I'm not- I mean, he's not necessarily the straight man. And like, when I- when I say straight man, I mean like the serious guy. The- the guy that kind of grounds humor. Throne dagger strike twice. Kind of hard to tell. Um, but like, honestly, I, I I think the the biggest bar as far as people stuff. Uh, uh, the the I, I'm just gonna finish this seeing as we're here. The biggest bar as far as like humor and people's content is sheer self confidence. Uh, the mo the moment you like can feel confident in yourself. Is the moment... Okay, good. The Throne Daggers are no longer screwing me over. This is good. And we can't even use gauntlets, so why pick them up? Actually, while we're here, let's drinky-doodle some stuff. Uh, but, like, the, the moment you can feel comfortable in your ability to just say words, no matter how dumb the shit is, somebody's gonna find it funny. Like, th that is the secret to humor. You may not think it's funny. Not everybody might think it's funny, but someone, someone out there is going to think you're a lame-ass joke. You're absolutely just... Horribly delivered, pitiful attempt at humor is going to be the funniest thing ever. For me, uh, oddly enough, like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, that good of a jokester. Like, I, I actually think my jokes are pretty terrible when I make them. However, uh, if you, like, watch Catacomb Kids, for example, I get a lot of comments about people laughing as I die. And I, I think an easy way, uh, easy way to do it is pick something where people can laugh at your misfortune. Um... So, uh, so for me, I, I mean, I realize I'm not very good at coming up with, like, uh, stand-up jokes. And, like, I can do, kind of do the, like, off-the-cuff weird rants that I know, like, I know Northern Lion kind of does them and stuff like that. This is a bit of a mess. But, uh, you know, I, I can do kind of similar stuff like that, which works. Um, but some people are, like, truly legitimately funny. Like, uh, I, I reference, you know, my friends Bird and Gnomes a lot. Those guys are legitimately hilarious. And I always feel kind of overshadowed by them, which always weirds me out because I'm, you know, 300 times their size? No, 30... 30 times their size. There we go. I actually don't remember how big Gnomes is. I might actually be, like, 50 times his size. Um, but, you know, for me, I actually feel really inferior when I'm around... Uh, to me, what I would consider my funny friends. But, uh, as a result of that, I kind of take the straight man role and try and go for the, like, either more sardonic or when I'm feeling the mood, uh, try and go for, like, the prankster route, which is a little bit more effective. Uh, and really it's just a matter of, like, personal strengths, personal preferences and stuff like that. But, um, honestly, just don't worry about it. Just do your thing. And so if you're, if you're doing YouTube, just hit that microphone and start. Uh, cause I know, I know, like, boring people that have managed to make it to the, like, the very high... <laughs> I, I'm very famous for yelling out, like, balls, 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 balls. Yeah, no, I, I totally am. Like, it, it's sad when you're, when you're, like, catchphrases have become just, like, expletives of, like, pure terror and stuff like that. But that is entirely what it is, because, you know what, people think it's hilarious when, uh, I mean, it's effectively YouTube slapstick. Or maybe highbrow slapstick, I think, I think would be a... Good description. Did I? Wow, I have a lot of potions of strength. All right, drink them all. All of the drugs. Um. But like, don't worry about it. That's, that's the easiest, easiest advice I can give. And I know it's pretty garbage advice regardless. That's still okay. Uh, is that worth it? It would do eight damage. Give me, give me speed. Speed's actually a stat we need. We don't need strength that much. Weightless arrows is tempting, but not that great. Okay, let's let's go with this. Cause I don't even know what my speed stat is. Stuff like that. Let's see. How many people here do YouTube? Lot, lots of people probably do YouTube. That watch me. I, I I've noticed a lot of people ask like how to do. I guess part of it is like not everybody that watches me does YouTube. Admittedly, um. But a lot of people like to do YouTube or want to do YouTube. And, like, when you say do YouTube, like, that that is anybody. I, I have 3,000 subscribers, but you know what? Anybody, somebody with 10 subscribers that puts out one video a month, 
still does YouTube stuff like that. Um, like there's there's everyone does YouTube. It's just you know some people do it better than others. Some people are more successful, more lucky. It's also it's a gamut, whatever. Um, but I I can imagine over the next decade YouTube is going to get just just gonna have more and more people, and that's not a bad thing either. Uh, but so it's it's going to be one of those where it's like, man, how many people here do YouTube? And the answer is just going to be like all of us. That's not a bad thing either. Okay, let's. Did I was there a shrine is coming? Back and stuff like that. But, um, like, there are a lot of people that just aren't funny on YouTube as well. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, Total Biscuit. Actually, I think Total Biscuit is a perfect example of a guy that really isn't that funny, but he comes off as a very mature tone in such a way that people want to listen to him. And as a result, he's actually a, a perfect example of kind of the straight man in the group. I'm, I'm thinking of, um,. I'm thinking of the Co-Optional Podcast, and if you've never seen it, I'd recommend at least watching, like, one or two. But he is, uh, he is the butt end of many jokes. He's very serious, he's very dour, al almost angry, uh, as far as, like, a number of people are concerned. Um, and so I, I think he's a great example. If you're having self-confidence issues about, like, being funny or not, he is, he is a good example of, uh, you know not being funny. And, like, yeah, you can say that Total Biscuit's a journalist, but the thing is, like, he started somewhere, and he did not start as a journalist. He started he started as a YouTube channel, what, doing StarCraft? I want to say? And, like, admi admittedly, like, that is not... that is not Let's Playing either, but at the same time, it's close enough. Like, Let's Playing is a ch major gamut of things that, you know, commentary, content, stuff like that. And, like, it's all over the place. So, just because Total Biscuit is, does his, like, impressions things a little bit more, doesn't mean that he doesn't necessarily do, uh, or still count as far as, like, an example. And honestly, uh, the one problem is, like, yeah, if you're not the most hilarious person on the universe, then you are actually gonna have a lot harder of a time, um, growing as a YouTuber. But that's just more work. I'm thinking of my friend, uh, Blitz Kriegsler. I don't think the dude is particularly funny, but, uh, he comes off as a very mature voice and a very interesting person. Um, then again, I don't watch enough of his content. He might actually be super hilarious, but I don't. I, don't, I never considered him as such as far as like our basic interactions. That's a really nice dagger toss. Let's see. Let's waste some stuff here. I'm floored that I haven't found a single. Other, I haven't like found another dagger here. Oh god! Well, I've pissed him off. Well, the shopkeepers are finally dead. So... Goddamn ghosts. So you don't care about the Ring of Zygox. What is this? One Greaves. Nope. Never mind. Nothing. Oh, I'm trying to think of, like, other people that aren't necessarily funny that are good examples. On it, there are a lot of them. Uh, I mean, say what you want, but I don't think uh, Rock Lee Smile is particularly funny. He's better as a journalist than than a comedian. Though he does play off of Northern Lion particularly well, but that's because they're really good friends. Honestly, like, the better friends you are with a person, the m more entertaining you're going to be able to listen to, even if you're not particularly hilarious. Okay, that dagger thing is pretty... pretty successful now that it hits targets twice. How's our health doing? Perfectly fine. Stuff like that. Oh, man. Gotta love Killing Floor. I, uh, if you didn't know, I, I've been playing Killing Floor with some friends lately. Uh, I was streaming it a little bit earlier, and I know a lot of people missed that. Honestly, I didn't advertise it very well. Um, but that game is good. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it at release, just because, like, I'm getting... I'm going to be effectively binging it somewhat. Un unfortunately, GTA V is coming out on PC on Monday. Uh, so that's probably going to take up a lot of my time Monday night. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how the whole, you know, Killing Floor versus GTA 5 works and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Oh. But yeah, Killing Floor is really good. I, I mean, it's like the simplest type of content you can ask for as far as shooters go. But it's exactly the kind of shooter that I would rather play with friends. Uh, that and, like, Nazi Zombie Army I consider to be fairly perfect. So I'm just gonna... 
dump this lightning wand. We have no use for it. Stuff like that. This is not killing floor two. It shouldn't be. Did I get, like, an error? Oh, yeah. Steam did not... Oh, not Steam. Freaking... Twitch did not actually want to update. That is really annoying. I'm really sick of the fact that Twitch keeps logging me out. And it's like, yes, you are now playing Vagante. And then everybody shows up being like, this isn't killing floor. And it's like, bah. That is, that did, mm. It's not my fault. It's goddamn Twitch. Okay, let's just throw these on. Trailblazer. Oh, shoot. Do not, pretty much do not want to uh, put on any new pairs of boots. I should probably stop doing that. Anyway. I like, the, I like the fact that, like, almost nobody can even hit me anymore. It is a good feeling. I attack so fast. Stuff like that. 24 hours. Oh. Well, I got a lot of arrows sticking out of my face now. That's kind of a weird feeling. 24 hour stream. I don't think I'm going to be doing a 24 hour stream today. For obvious reasons. Let's get rid of that. I don't care about you. Now let's make a decision here. Oh, whoa. 